Hi Leo and welcome to your Love Tarot Forecast. This is for August 16th through August 31st, 2019. Happy birthday to all the Leos out there. So Leo, I'm going to start your reading off by pulling um, three bonus cards here to bring you additional insight, clarity, and confirmation in regards to love and romance matters for you guys. Okay, I'm going to leave them face down. And so you decide throughout the reading which one you feel um, you are being most drawn to for a different, I'm sorry, for additional confirmation, insight, and clarity. All right. So, Leo, let's pull some cards here and see what's going on in love and romance. Singles, couples, crushing, dating, committed, reuniting. Let's see what comes out for you. Okay. We have same mistake. Challenges and messages okay so Leo um, several different things with this those of you who are committed I feel this week may, there may be um, you know just something that there is some situation um, or fight or disagreement um, or something that's happened in the past and it's coming back up in your relationship this next two weeks. And this is like something I feel you guys struggle with. Like uh, maybe somebody is really insecure and you guys have been working on trying to get past that. And then boom, you know, over these next two weeks, it's really heightened once again. So Leo, those of you who are committed, it's like something um, from the past, um, a fight between the two of you, something that's happened. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's coming back up and um, it's don't make don't handle it the same way that you have in the past because I feel like um, you guys really like you get really emotional you fight you're really heated and then it's like you guys don't want to be at odds with each other so things calm down and you kind of sweep it under the rug and with this coming out it's like you know if this issue is arising again it's time to face it head on this you know next two weeks of August and really share your heart express your thoughts like this needs to change you guys have to go about it a different way or the same thing is going to happen once again okay um, those of you singles out there, um, who are kind of dating somebody or talking to somebody, but there's no commitment going on, um, you know, with this, I feel like if they've been really kind of flaky and in and out, you guys are going to have a talk over these next two weeks about it because I feel like you're kind of putting your foot down and you're like, look, you're in or you're out. You know, I feel a bit of frustration where one person is finally like, look, I'm not playing these games anymore. And there's a conversation that you guys are going to have about it. But again, just like the, you know, couples, you've got to go about handling this in a different way. If you're usually cool and passive about it, you know, it's time to put your foot down. And so if this person is just, you know, really crappy about about getting back to you or you know canceling plans and they like swear to you you know Leo I really want to be with you I care about you it's been this that and the other and it happens again Leo that is your sign that nope it doesn't matter how much you like the person or whatever it's like the same thing is going to keep happening over and over so you've got to be like nope I'm done like you've got to make a different decision okay now, some of you, I definitely do feel like um, some energy about those of you who are separated from somebody. And what I feel is keeping you apart right now is you both, one or both of you, is really afraid that the challenges that existed, the incompatibilities that existed between the two of you before will be too much now or what's happened since your separation can we overcome that like can we get out of an old pattern of who we used to be and I really feel like you guys are actually going to have a conversation about it Leo so let's pull some tarot cards to get more insight and um, as far as like brand new romances Leo I don't really see that energy coming in um, you know love can happen at any time this is just a general reading for all but I'm just going to, you know, point that out that I, I don't really see that. And when I don't really pick up on an energy, I'm not going to really talk about it in the reading. Okay, so 
we have the light awakened soul contracts and experiences six of thoughts freedom moving on transition three of flames growth patience waiting messenger of emotions messages from the heart and lastly bringer of thoughts apology or facts and truth revealed yeah so leo um overall like whether we're separated from somebody we're kind of just dating seeing or talking to somebody or we are committed to somebody um it's all about communication for you guys over these next two weeks like conversations that have to you know have to happen um and those of you who are separated um I really feel the conversation that you guys share is very, very deep and honest. And both of you just being very straightforward and putting it out there. Um, because with the light here, it's like whatever is being talked about and discussed, it's like you both are coming from a place of soul. Okay? And that's what the communication is about. So you both are seeking solution, um, compromise, healing, all of that equally okay whether you're committed you're just dating or you're separated this conversation that you guys share is about your relationship and the betterment of it and the bond and the connection and being very real and true and honest about the past um, feelings thoughts actions what's happened how can we not make the same mistake again okay um, it's a big focus of like I love you you know, I want to be with you. How can we make this work? Can we overcome our past? Those of you, again, who are just kind of dating or talking to somebody and it didn't feel like it's really going anywhere, you're going to find out why. I feel like this is heart and soul conversations and expressions happening for Leo over this next two weeks. Like, it is all about communication, but it's very honest, pure, and true communications on both sides, which I love to see that so let's pull some tarot dice and I do feel that you guys reach a solution and you reach compromise and understanding because six of thoughts like you're transitioning you're moving on you know from whatever this energy is into the light so that's really nice all right so we have the five of cups which is sadness, heartbreak, remorse, and look at this, the Ten of Swords, betrayal, deception, dishonesty, feeling stabbed in the back, that same mistake, that issue, that challenge, whatever it is, you know, that keeps coming up or you're worried that you guys cannot overcome, like I see it right there, those of you who are separated, I can see why there's some fear about, well, even if we did both want to be back together and work on this could we even overcome what happened you know the depth of the pain the the tragedy the heartache the heartbreak you know because the five of cups with the ten of swords it doesn't get much worse than that maybe if you threw the tower in there it could be like worse but that's incredible heartbreak sadness pain something has happened here leo and um, I really feel that you both, like you guys can get through this if you um, can communicate 100% vulnerably, heart and soul, shedding it all, sharing the, the good, the bad, the ugly, like putting it all out on the table, laying all the cards out, both sides where it's 100% honesty because in that space, it's just like, it's very real for both of you okay so leo it's all about this conversation and let's see what do we have now um we have the queen of cups could involve a water sign cancer scorpio pisces and lastly we have the nine of cups this is um to me where you through this conversation um being very real vulnerable true honest pure all of that like, it brings about a sense of emotional satisfaction in both of you. Like, there's a wish on both, si both sides, whether separated, dating, or committed, where you both really want to just get past this, like, um, for whatever it means, okay? Like, 
you both wish for the same thing with that right there, okay? Oh my god, and I didn't even notice this. And what do you guys wish for? Love and connection with each other and nobody else but each other. Oh my god, Leo, this reading is so darn romantic with these dice. I'm like blushing for you guys. This is schmoopy, ooey gooey love. Like, I love you. Let me tell you I love you a thousand times. Um... Out of six dice, you have all cups except for this ten of swords. So there is a lot of emotion going on for Leo. Um, but it's all about the communication and the conversation that you guys are sharing. And Leo, I really feel like um, no matter what your situation is, the way you guys are resonating with this, like I really feel like you guys can overcome this. Like you both desire the same thing emotionally and sharing and being vulnerable with each other. Um, it's just like, I don't know, you fall in love again. You figure out how to overcome your challenges. Um, whoever really screwed up proves their side of like, I was wrong. I see my wrongdoing in you. I will forever love you. There's nobody else in this world. Like, Leo, this is like real, true love overcoming some really heavy, hard stuff. Beautiful freaking reading for you guys. So let's, um, let's take a look at the bonus cards and see what comes out there. All right, so the first one, we have excellent match, best friends and lovers. There you go. I can see why you can't uh, forget each other or you want to do whatever it takes to make this work between the two of you. Um, the second card is secrets, things hidden about the past, and I'm not surprised to see that. Like I said, this to me is um, really significant that all cards must be laid on the table. Nothing um, spared as painful and hard as it may be to express or to hear. I feel like if we could just share all the way be vulnerable and real with each other and feel safe about it like you guys will overcome so much okay and lastly um the third card we have true love a genuine connection again leo that right there as a confirmation speaks for itself okay so leo very beautiful reading for you guys this is true love and connection and I really feel that you guys can overcome whatever your challenges, secrets, betrayals, dishonesties of the past, whatever it is. I just, I mean, God, with this reading, I feel like you guys can overcome it as long as it, the conversation that is shared is 100% honest and vulnerable and it feels safe for both of you okay so Leo those are your messages I am wishing you all the best take care